Previously on No One, No One But You. Wow, it's rare for Ryo to ever sound serious. Something really important must be. Who the hell was that girl, bruh? Did you get another girlfriend, bruh? You fucking damn playboy, bruh! Aw oh, man, bruh, I'm so freaking jealous, bruh! You better help me hook up with that ghost girl, bruh! I swear to fuck god, you perverted bastard, bruh! This guy! Holy shit! Bruh! I mean, it's cool you got affection or fetish towards ghost girls, but just to let you know... I mean... Uh, uh. You know what? No, bruh. I'm not gonna say anything. Just do what you gotta do with the ghost girl, yeah. You know? It might happen. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, I never dated a ghost girl in real life. In fact, I don't think anyone ever dated a ghost girl in real life. Or maybe they did, but no one knows, you know? So yeah, you do your best. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, good luck with that. Damn! It really is dark in here. In school. Time to take out my trusty flashlight. That's much better. Ah, I brought one too, bruh! As Shiro appreciated the illumination, Leo pulled the flashlight of his own out. It's a good thing you two brought up that. Or thought of that, I mean. It seems like you and I forgot to bring them. Uh-huh. You rescalled, <laughs> apparently ashamed of the fact that she was being forced to rely on Leo and I. So, uh, what do we do now exactly? Look around, of course, bruh! The school is pretty big, so maybe we should split up into two teams. Yeah! That sounds like a good idea, bruh! Alright, so how are we going to do this? <gasps> I don't know. Why, who do you want to go with? Oh! Hold on! Okay. Like I told you guys, I'm going after you, Chad. Even though, not you, chan I'm going after Shira chan Even though I really want to know yu chans story. Because she is kind of my type, too. And I hope she's not a tsundere, but the next round, I'll try yu chan But this run, I'm going to go after Shira. Yeah. I decided to go after Shira. And yo, fuck yo. So, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, Shiro. I think I'll go with you, Shiro. Oh, oh fuck! I forgot! You shouldn't have to go with Leo! Oh, this is gonna be... Ah, you know what? Fuck it! Oh, oh, okay! I'm sorry, you chan Then I'll... Yeah, then I'll get to go with the awesome Yui! I can't believe you two are going to leave me with this guy! Huh? Don't be like that, Yui! Leo is cool! Thank you so much, you two, bruh! Whatever, let's just get this over with already! Without another word, Yui started walking away. Hey, bruh! Wait for me, bruh! And surely enough, as soon as she did, Yo began chasing after her. Let's hope, let's hope Leo doesn't become the next ghost of the school. <laughs> doesn't bug her too much, she will spare his life, yeah! Let's just do our part of the investigation, shall we? Okay. Alright! Shiro and I walked around at school, trying to find something abnormal. Huh. I don't see anything unusual here either. And, uh, you sure it's a good idea to turn on the lights? I mean... People could see outside, you know. And they might call the cops and such. Whatever. You guys, yeah, do what you want to do. Anyway, hmm, I don't see anything unusual here either. I mean, uh, this place looks like it was taken straight out of the horror film. Nah, sure. Though there are no ghosts around, I think. Shoot.
Shira? Fuck. What? I turned around and noticed that Shira wasn't there. What the? She was here a second ago. Oh, fuck. Where the heck did she go? I started looking around the room and the nearby hallway. Still nothing. I just had to jinx it. Now this really looks like a horror film. Fuck, I better go look for Shiro. Shiro-chan! I walked down the dark school hallway as my flashlight flickered. God damn it, this is not the time flashlight! Of course! A flickering flashlight! I am so fucking dead. Damn it! Where are you, Shiro? I hate this. I looked through the window and down towards the courtyard outside, where I saw Yui and Ryo. Seems like Yui is using Ryo as a human flashlight while she looks around. <laughs> Alright. He's trying to have a conversation with her, but she's obviously ignoring him. At least those two are acting like normal. It's weird how that eases me. Alright, Hideaki. Alright, let's think logically here. Where could Shiro have gone off to? Yeah, maybe she's at the bathroom, yeah. I mean, I don't think she would just run off. Holy shit, unless she went to the principal's office? And maybe check his safe? And take the school money with? Hmm. I hope that's not the case, anyway. I could try going to the roof. After all, that's where I always see her during the day. At the very least, couldn't hurt to go check. Yeah. With my new destination in mind, I walked to the stairway. I looked towards the fence and saw Shiro looking down at the town. So she was here after all. God damn it, girl. I thought we were a team. We gotta stick together. Come on. Seeing her up here alone like this, she looks even more lonely than usual. Hey there, Shiro. Chan. Huh? So you were able to find me? You shouldn't run off like that, you know. You had me a bit worried back there, yeah! Sorry, it's just that I've always wanted to come up to the roof at night. So before I knew it, here I was. I suppose the view is pretty amazing, but uh, I do appreciate if you, you know, stick with me. Hell, rather than going off alone, ah. I know, right? The town looks beautiful from up here. Only from up here? When you're actually in town, do you not like it there? Well, I don't really have anything against this town. I just find it a bit boring. I like that it's quiet since I'm not a fan of city in crowded places. Yet it just seems a bit bland to me. Do you think so? Um, a little bit, I guess, yeah. And it's not just the town I feel that way about. I guess that the reason I decided to come here today. Searching for a ghost at night seemed abnormal and different. I kind of knew that we wouldn't find anything, but it's fun, nonetheless. Well, uh, as long as you're having fun, it's all good, you know? Yeah. Uh huh. You always know what to say, Hideaki. Let's return to the others, before they think the ghost ate us or something. Yeah, I know how paranoid you can get. Yeah. Oh, that's it? There you are, bruh! We looked everywhere for you, man! We were just, a uh, um... What is it? What the heck Hideaki do? Hideaki, you little perv! You look at- you took advantage of Shiro, didn't you? Wait, no! You chan Do I look that kind of person? God damn! I mean, I am a little perverted, but damn! I don't go that far, alright? Damn, I got standards! I damn! So no! Why do you keep saying that? We were- we were just looking around near the roof, but the door was locked, that's all. It seems as though Shiro doesn't like to tell people about that place. I have a feeling he's making you say that, but okay. Give me a break, Yu-chan. 
God damn. Did you guys find anything, bruh? Nope. No ghosts to be seen, and thank God. And thank God I didn't see Chinatsu here too, cause that's gonna prove my theory that she, you know, Chinatsu might be a ghost, but thank God it's not, right? Or unless she doesn't show up at night, I don't know. And I hope Megumi's not here, cause if so, that will be fucking scary. Yeah, anyway. We didn't find anything in the courtyard either. Even so, bro, we still have five minutes before midnight. Yeah, Dio's right. Let's wait around a little longer. Taking Dio's idea to heart, we stood there in the hallway and talked for a while. But the moment it, the yeah, excuse me, the but the moment it hit midnight, we were all dead quiet. Nothing could be heard, not even the sound of us breathing. What? Everyone looked rather worried as the wind blew around the school. Bruh. Okay, this silence is getting a bit terrifying. What, what was that? I, I don't freaking know, bruh. It came from the club room. Should we go check it out? I'll go. You guys wait here. Wait, no! Why you go alone, Hideaki? Yo! This is how you die! In a horror film! Bruh! Don't act like a hero now, Hideaki! This might be serious! I'm not acting like a hero. And I'm sure it was nothing. So don't worry, Yui-chan. If something happens, I'll call out for you guys. Alright? You better be there for me. Alright? Just be careful, Hideaki. Don't worry, Shiro-chan. I'll be back in a minute. And I'll come back for you too. Yeah. Okay. The noise came from this room right here. I slowly grabbed the handle and opened the door. Okay. Everything seems normal in here. Really. Somehow the lights are on. That's not normal, cause, uh, or unless I turn it on, I don't know. Anyway, one of the boxes fell over. But how? What box? Whatever. Just then, I feel a hand on my right shoulder. What? <laughs> what the hell? I quickly jump forward and turn around. What the? Megumi? Chinatsu! Oh. Uh, I mean, I'm happy you're, it's you, but, uh, uh... I This kind of proves that you are a girl. A girl? You are a ghost, you know, girl. Ah, uh, whatever. Hopefully it's, this is not the case. Anyway. Chinatsu! What in the world are you doing here? At midnight! We're in school uniform! Yeah! Huh. Uh, I'm sorry I scared you like that. I saw you enter the school earlier and heard about your plan with the others. I wanted to join in, but lost track of you on campus, so... Oh, I see. So it wasn't the midnight ghost after all. In fact, I think this is the midnight ghost after all. Anyway... Nope. You still scared the hell out of me, though. Fuck. It's just a shame you weren't a soul-consuming ghost, yeah. Heh. <laughs> Sorry for bursting your bubbles. It's okay. Anyway, uh, let's head back to the others. Um, maybe we shouldn't. What? What do you mean, Chinatsu? You guys came all the way here searching for a ghost. It would be a shame to disappoint them. Uh, true. Leo and Shiro would most likely be bummed by this. What should we do? I'm sure you can come up with something to tell them. Hold on. Chidatsu, you're a smart ghost, aren't you? If you're a ghost, that is. I'll leave through the back door. Alright, cool. Uh-huh. 
right before they see you. Okay. Good luck, Hideaki. Shinatsu exited the room. Alright, time to have a good old fashioned Hideaki line session. <sighs> Yo! Ah, Chinatsu chan kayo! I mean, I shouldn't jump into conclusion yet, you know? We, I mean, she didn't say she's a ghost yet, so you know what? I'll put on hold, but I am guessing she is a ghost, so yeah. Just to let you guys know, yeah, that's my guess. Anyway, Hideaki, bruh! What took you so long, bruh? We thought you were dead. We were about to plan a, uh, we were about to plan your funeral. Oh, fuck it, Yui-chan. You sure have faith in me, Yui-chan, yeah. Anyway, uh, when I reached the door, I started to hear a noise. It sounded like a girl talking to herself. I slowly opened the door and walked inside, only to see the silhouette of a girl behind the curtains. Everyone was looking at me while their eyes sparkled. I slowly walked towards it, but when I moved the curtains, there was no one there. I stayed in the room for a little while and, uh, then came back here. That's what happened. Whoa! That sounds awesome, bruh! So, it could have been the ghost of girl! Darn! We were so close, bruh! Yeah, I wish I was with you to see it. You guys don't really believe this, do you? It sounds like a typical horror movie cliche. Did that really happen, Hidi Anki? Huh? Of, of course it did, yeah. Why would I be lying about that? <laughs> hmm. I should be more creative next time. Just don't blow my cover, Yui-chan, please. This is exciting and all, but... This place is starting to give me the chills. Yeah, bruh. It is getting late. Maybe we can come back again later and continue the investigation, bruh. Okay, uh, let's leave it at that for now. Yeah. You lock all the doors, right? Uh, Shiro-chan? Yep. It's like we were never here. Good, bruh. We don't want to get any trouble, bruh. That was fun. I hope we don't go to jail because of this. I'll see you guys later. You started walking towards the dorms. Want me to walk with you? You chan Bruh! Yeah, sure. You can also give me a warm glass of milk and tuck me into bed. You made the offer as you walked further and further away, showing no sign of waiting for the O. <laughs> I just love you, Chan's sarcastic sense of humor, bruh. Well, I'm done ghost busting for today, bruhs. I'll see you guys tomorrow, bruh. We waved goodbye to Dio as he left. <gasps> there they go. Yep, that just leaves us. Me and Chiro Chan. Come on, I'll walk you home. We can't let you walk back alone this late at night. Yeah. Okay. Ooh! Here we are. So this is your house, huh? Nice place. Alright, I remember it now. Alright. Nice! Though, uh, something about the street seems awfully familiar. Huh. Hmm. Hmm? Hideaki? I... I know I've been down the street before. In fact, I'm pretty sure I passed by Shiro's house on the way to school. Hideaki? No. There's more to it than that. What? It feels more than just familiar. It's almost as though... Eh? Eh? What? What the heck? Shiro! Are we... Could we possibly be? Haha. Uh -huh. Looks like you finally realized that we're neighbors. Oh, we're neighbors! Seriously, Hideaki? Just how slow are you? 
I was just wondering the same thing. Oh, Hideaki. You, uh, it took you how long? Like, over a month? Damn. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and walking me home, Hideaki. Oh, uh, don't mention it. Actually, uh, I was heading this way myself, believe it or not, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm sure you were. Well then, uh, I'll see you tomorrow at school, okay? Without our ghost hunting gears, of course, yeah. Indeed. Good night, Hideaki. She will walk towards her house, wave goodbye once more, then crept inside. Okay then. I suppose I should go home myself. Yeah. As I walked into my own home, I crept more quietly than ever before, exercising far more caution than at the school. I didn't make a sound. My mother would freak out if she knew I snuck out or sneaked out in the middle of the night. I should head straight to my room. I got this. I walked to my room, then immediately threw myself on my bed. Man, I'm so tired. It was a lot of fun though, yeah. I met Chinatsu and such, yeah. Either way, yeah, I wonder what happened to Chinatsu. Dude, no, I'm not gonna say it. Whatever. I hope she made it home safely. To the bridge, that is. <gasps> Persona! Come on, stop at Tuesday. Okay, good. You're not skipping days or weeks. Thank God. Oh, my God. What a day. Or rather, what a night. To think that we actually snuck into the to this place in the dead of the night. It's only midnight, bros. Come on. Wait a minute. What am I doing here? I only just woke up. What? Did I fall asleep in class again? If so, I hope the teacher didn't notice. Hang on. Where is everyone? Well, I'm guessing that everyone is dead. Because I hear ambulance outside. In real life, yeah! Anyway, hang on. Where is everyone? It looks like I'm the only one here. So quiet and empty. Oh, is this the nightmare? I moved away from my desk and walked towards the window. Hmm. There's nobody outside either. Did I come to school on Saturday? Without noticing? That does sound like something I do. Either way, uh, if I'm the only one here, then... I walk through the door and out of the classroom? What? It's Tuesday, bro. I think you're dreaming right now. As expected, it's empty out here, too. It's just so quiet. As I approach the school entrance, I notice someone standing next to the school gate with their back towards me. What? Though it was hard to tell from a distance, they look like a little girl. What is she doing here? Is she waiting for someone? No. That doesn't make any sense. Send? Sense, I think. There's no one else here. I'd better just go and ask her. I started walking towards the little girl. Um, hello there, little... <coughs> what? What? Just as I was about to tap her shoulder, I felt something strike the back of my head. Eh? Nani kore? Oh man, that was... Wait, what the hell is going on here? Why am I back in class? I was just outside, outside I mean, and... As I felt to an increasing degree that something was amiss, I looked towards the front of the room. 
The board on which classwork would usually be written contained a single phrase. The words, Why Hideaki? were written all over the whiteboard in a black marker. Majikayo. What is going on here? Is someone playing a prank on me? I need to get out of here. This place is making me feel uncomfortable. God! Screw this place! Why did I even come here? I walk towards the stairs and start running down. What the? You continue running down the stairs. How do I keep returning to the same hallway? This doesn't make any sense! I look at the other end of the hallway and saw someone standing there. Huh? I can't really tell who that is, but... But I can't see their lips moving. Are they talking to me? I can't hear them! I started walking towards the mysterious person. As I walked, I watched their expression constantly change from that of someone laughing to an expression of anger, to misery, and then back to laughter. Are you... talking to me? No matter how much I walked, I wasn't able to reach them. It was as though I was walking in an endless hallway. Hey! Who the heck are you? And what are you saying? The figure then disappeared momentarily, only to reappear behind me. I could feel their breath running down my neck as I slowly turned around. What? I know what you're doing. You had better stop while you still can. Eh? Huh? Um... In my room? I'm fucking believable. What was that? Was all of that a dream? Great. Just what I needed. Like one reoccurring nightmare wasn't enough. Are they supposed to mean anything? Or something? Or are they just random? Fuck! No, okay. Calm the fuck down, Hideaki. I'm sure I am just woke up from all of the crap we did last night, yeah. I freaked myself out by going ghost hunting, and that dream was the price I paid. As I wandered downstairs, dressed for school and ready to go, I joined my mother for breakfast. Wow, Hide, you look even more tired than usual. I just had a, a bit of a restless night, I guess, Mom. Really? You look like you sneaked out to go on a crazy adventure in the middle of the night. What? Th that's ridiculous, Mom. I, I would never, never. Calm down, Hide. I was just kidding. Yeah, I know, Mom. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool, yeah. I'm not, I'm not freaked out, yeah. Though well, she certainly did nailed it. Mm hmm. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll be off now. Those tests won't ace themselves. Alright, Hide. See you at dinner. Later, Mom. When I reached my classroom, the first sight that graced my eyes was that of Ryo and Shiro talking next to my desk. Where's Megumi? Anyway. Oh, there is a man himself, bruh! Hello, Hideaki. Good morning, you two. Still discussing your paranormal? After last night's awesome adventure, how could we not, bruh? Yeah, we're trying to solve the mystery of the midnight ghost. We should come to school at night again! Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys shouldn't give this too much thought, especially with finals approaching, yeah. We should, like, yeah, chill off with the investigation and maybe study. Or if, I mean, not with Neil, but with, you know, Shiro Chan, you know what I'm saying? I guess we have a point, or you have a point. Even so, we shouldn't let this go. Yeah, bruh! This mystery needs to be so bruh! Oh man, these two are just... 
Oh, class is starting. I should return to my seat. Yeah, bruh. We'll talk about this later, bruh. Shiro and Ryo both returned to their desk and sat down. With my desk now free, I decided to follow... Or I, I decided to follow suit. Mere moments before the teacher walked in. After surviving the entire lesson in a state of semi-consciousness, break time arrived before I knew it. The classroom was nearly empty, leaving only myself and the teacher, who was working on some papers. Hmm, I guess I'll head to the cafeteria and grab something to eat. I stood up and started walking towards the door. Hideaki! Can I have a word with you? Uh oh, uh, sure. Yeah, what's up? I didn't seem like, or it didn't seem like you were listening in class today. Ah, oh, fuck. We were bound to have this conversation at some point. Should I just admit that I was paying attention? Uh, hold on. Yo, uh, I don't know. I mean, the teacher probably know about it, so why just lie about it, right? Just tell the truth, I guess. Yeah. You're right. I think I spaced out for a moment there. I'm sorry, Sensei. I figured as much. I noticed that you haven't been paying attention to class recently. I know you're new here, and you've made a lot of friends, but you seem to be too concerned about them. Moving from one person to the next. You need to think more about yourself, especially with the exams being so close. I guess you're right. I'll try my best to focus more. I'm glad to hear that. Listen, I have some boxes in my office that need to be moved to the literature club. Can you do that for me? You know, in exchange for me not giving you detention? Ah, fuck. Yeah, sure thing, Teach. Alright. Great. Thanks, kid. Ah.